Hello fellow adventurers, my name is Hiccup, one of the Brothers on Consoles, and we are back for another Dragon Age Inquisition playthrough. Let's play, walkthrough, however you want to put it. You know, with the world, with the Inquisition changing the world in so many ways, it'd be nice to see of how our companions are taking all of this change. So let's talk to them about it. My dear, I'm afraid I must ask you for help. There is an alchemical formula that I must complete, but I have been unable to obtain a critical ingredient. The heart of a snowy wyvern. I had arranged to obtain one, but the chevaliers working with me were killed in the Civil War. Oh. If I'm going to hunt down a snowy wyvern, I need you to tell me everything you know about it. They're quite rare and exceedingly dangerous. Their venom is the most potent of any wyvern. Ordinary hunters would not make the attempt. The risk is too great. You, my dear, would certainly be an equal to this monster. I didn't know you were an alchemist, Vivian. What exactly is this project you're working on? It is a special request from a member of the Council of Heralds. I am still the Imperial Court Enchanter, after all. The matter is private. That is all there is to say. Hmm. I don't want to have to be pushy about it, so... Let's give it a go around. I'll do what I can. Thank you, my dear. I would be most grateful. I shall give the location of its lair to Cullen. Remember, my dear, I must have its heart or the potion will not work. I eagerly await your success. Snowy River, huh? Or Exalted Plains, okay. Nice that it has a location for this stuff. Ah, bring me the heart of Snow White. That's hilarious. That's friggin' hilarious. Why am I in this getup? Sucks right now. Yeah. Yeah. What the? Yeah. What's a woman doing out here this far? They don't usually come up this far. I mean, I know they're here, but they're usually over here, way, 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 way over here. On the other side of these crow fence. Yeah. Way out there. Let's hope I can race this snowy wyvern before one of those other wyverns catches me. Um, and I walk right in front of one! Are you kidding me? Oh, stupid game. That's not even funny. Where is that brick? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't see it. Where is it? I don't see it. It's supposed to be here somewhere. Got it! Holy bugger, that thing is huge. Guys, a little help here. Big fella. And... Done. One down! Alright, where's the... The thing for. Uh oh. I can't reach the things. Oh, here it is. Way over here. Hm. Give the heart to the living hand. Got it. Let's do it. Oh.
I've chosen a buckle with turquoise. Five feathers. You're so bold. I have selected. Is this a youth oh. serum? I've never seen alchemy this complex. Where did she get it? Oh, that's new. I've actually played this before and I've Can never actually seen it. Is it too much to hope that you've brought me the heart of the snowy wyvern? I've brought you the heart as requested. Inquisitor, you are a treasure. Please accept this as your payment. I must begin work immediately. You have been a dear friend and I would like you to come with me. This should only take a moment, Inquisitor. I'm here, my darling. Darling, Bastian. Oh, Vivienne, I'm sorry. There's nothing here now. Bastian is dead. I can hardly believe it was the Winter Send Ball, my first visit to the Imperial Palace. The Circle sent a dozen of us to entertain the nobility. I was in awe of everyone and everything, and then our eyes met. Bastien spent the entire ball at my side. The Dowager tried to have him killed for slighting her, but he didn't care. Huh. Falling in love across a crowded ballroom. Sounds like something out of a children's story. He was a dashing rogue. And any defects he might have had were made up for with rank and importance. It was a more innocent time, I suppose. And now he's gone and I... I must write to his son Laurent. And his sister will make a terrible fuss if she isn't informed first. And I'll need to arrange for the Chantry services. Maker only knows how long that will take. If I can help you, just say the word. No, my dear. I'll handle everything. Excuse me, I have so much to do. Nail that. <sighs> A message from Divine Justinia. Oh. That's a shock. Are you all right reading it? Thank you for the concern, Inquisitor. But I am. This message was written months, perhaps even years ago, to be delivered to me if she died. I've heard of such contingency plans. A sudden death often leaves loose ends. I'm to go to Valence, a small village on the waking sea. There is something hidden there. Ooh, mystery. Why hide things in Valence? What's so special about it? Justinia was revered mother at the Chantry there for many years before she became the Divine. It is a place that holds great meaning for her. Do you know what you're looking for? The Divine was a powerful woman who used her position to obtain all sorts of things. Whatever she hid in Valence would very likely benefit the Inquisition and must be kept from falling into the wrong hands. If I'm lucky, she will have instructions for me. Mm, I don't want to come off like that. Good lord, some of these this, some of these dialogues seem a bit pushy. I'll help in whatever way I can. 
Wonderful. I was hoping you would agree to come with me to Valence. One more thing. If what is hidden in Valence is as valuable as I think, then we're not going to be the only ones looking for it. I shall meet you at the Chantry in Valence. Try not to delay. Let's do it. The left hand of the body. It's just as I remember it. You've been here before? You didn't tell me you'd been here before. After the blight ended, I came here to see Justinia. She was just Dorothea then, a revered mother. It's peaceful here. You must have good memories of this place. It was a place of comfort. It is good to see it still untouched by Corypheus. Liliana, is that you? Sister Natalie, what are you doing here? I thought you were in Val Rayo. No. I've been here since Justinia died. This place makes me feel like... Hmm. Like she's still with us. Inquisitor, this is Natalie, a trusted friend. Wait, Inquisitor? You... You brought the Inquisitor here? My lord, forgive me for not recognizing you earlier. <sighs> I wish more people would fail to recognize me. Oh, uh... I see. Natalie, listen. There is something hidden here. Something Justinia left for me. Oh, really? What is it? I don't know, but we'll find it. I'm curious to see what brought us all here. Justinia's letter came with instructions for me. They were a little cryptic. Always remember that faith sprung from a barren branch. That light has no fear of darkness. Above all, that strength lives in an open heart. She must be hinting at something in here. Let's look around. Do they still sing verses from the Benedictions every Friday? That canticle was Justinia's favorite. Uh, yes, of course. We'd never give up the traditions of our most beloved divine. That is lovely to hear. I stare up at the bridge sometimes. It's terrifying, but beautiful in its way. It is beautiful. When the sun rises through it, it splits into what looks like a thousand suns. The heart. Huh. Yes. Spectacular, isn't it? An open heart. Well, that one's quite literal. That's quite funny. Yeah. Yeah, a little morbid. Justinia always said that. Right in fear no darkness. Doubt is easy. It takes courage to trust. I want to try. Oh. Vying for position and the sunburst throne. What was that? Looks like we opened something. Yeah. Whoa. West. Oh. Sorry to keep you waiting. <laughs> Good old Leliana was playing you the whole time. Didn't you realize? They never sing the benedictions here on Fridays, Natalie. Something so simple. And you got it so wrong. I wanted to believe, but you were lying from the start. Keep that pretty mouth shut if you must, dear. You've already told me everything I need to know. The prickle with burrs on your hem, talking about the sun rising through the breach. It all points to a single place. Morel in the Dales, Grand Cleric Victoire's Bastion. She sent you, didn't she? Victoire was always an opportunist. Who never heard of her. Cleric? I've never heard of her. An experienced cleric. She never agreed with Justinia, but kept her ideas to herself. 
I suppose now, with Justinia dead, she thought she could make her move. I want to know what this grand cleric planned here. She sent Natalie here to see what Justinia was hiding, no? The Inquisition has turned Thidas away from the true Chantry. It must be stopped. Stop us? He must be joking. Mother Victoire is well loved by many. The Inquisition has more enemies than you know. And Victoire thinks she can ally with them. We don't have to be at odds, Natalie. You could come with us. Join the Inquisition. I was called to serve the Grand Cleric. I will not betray her. Kill me then. I am not afraid to die for my beliefs. At least I still know what I believe. Release her, Leliana. She's no threat. The Grand Cleric? She is one woman. We are the Inquisition. Yeah, what has that Grand Cleric been doing while we've been busting butt? Tell your mistress that she has a choice. The Inquisition is coming. Yeah, well put. We are the Inquisition. Enough said. No! This can't be it. There's nothing here. Well, what a head message. Check again. Perhaps the box itself is a puzzle. She seemed the puzzling sort. No, it's just... it's just an empty box. There's a message carved in the lid. The left hand should lay down her burden. She... she's releasing me. The Divine has a long reach, but it is always her left hand that stretches out. A thousand lies, a thousand deaths. Her commands, but my conscience that bore the consequences. She apologized in the fade. She said she failed you. This is this what she meant. meant. All this time, Justinia carried the fear that she was using me. Just like I'd been used in the past. But Marjolaine's games were trifles. Justinia gambled with the fate of nations. She needed me. No one else could have done what I did. She knows that. Then you have to let it go. Let her go. You don't owe her anything anymore. If it were not for you, I would have killed Natalie and called it a good thing. Thank you for showing me what was right when I couldn't see it for myself. There are things that must be said, but not here. I will see you back at Skyhold. Back to Skyhold. Grand Cleric Victoire has offered the Ambassador support for the Inquisition. Ah, Natalie is as persuasive as ever. <laughs> I'm told that Ambassador Montillier is pleased with the restraint you showed in Valence. Ugh, she's positively beside herself. I will never hear the end of it. Niceness before knives, Liliana. Haven't I always told you? <laughs> For now. I love making new friends, don't you? It was a gamble, Inquisitor, but it paid off. If you hadn't been with me at Valence, I would have killed Natalie. I'd have told you that I didn't have a choice. But there is always a choice. I am more than this. I am more than what Justinia made me. Do you resent Justinia? How can I when there is so much between us? When she gave her life for peace? No, I believe her intentions were pure. Most intentions are. So, what does that mean? What does this mean for my Inquisition? Will you still be my spy master? Of course. I would not give up my post. Not after everything we've built. I just know now that I shouldn't ignore my heart. Mercy is not always a weakness. You've exceeded her. She could never have imagined the power you now hold. And now I will know how to use that power wisely. 
I have to stay true to who I really am before Spymaster left hand or barred. I almost lost myself. Uh, I do love these companion missions. They do definitely give these characters, well, character, you know, development, I mean. It really does build it up quite nicely. I love it. That's what I love the most about these games. Though I am going to say I am quite disappointed that in Dragon Age Origins she was a romance interest and you couldn't have one here, considering honestly she's much more, she has a very interesting story development here. That would have been nice to jump up at. Uh, I didn't understand the Grand Ball. It would have been easier if they said what they wanted. Hmm. Olesian nobles see politics as a great competition. Yes, but none of them ever win. How would you like to get out of here? Maybe do something fun? I don't know. I've never tried. Come on. Inquisitor! You honor us with your presence. Will you be dining alone, your worship? Or will others be arriving later? I may have a friend joining me. Very good, your worship. Right this way, please. Please enjoy your meal this evening, your worship. You can tell her. She'll laugh and then do it because she loves you. She wants to make you happy. Huh. You saw something in him that needed a word of encouragement. He wants his wife to tie his hands to the bedposts. Little silk ribbons. He worries she'll hate him. Hmm. She only said it because she was jealous of your shoes. Remember his hand on your waist as the music swelled. <laughs> so many little hurts, even here, away from blood and battle. I wouldn't have heard them before. Now I can, thanks to you. So you help them with a few whispered words? The right words. Plus what I am, a little of me making the happiness stronger, so the pain fades. I don't steal the pain. The nightmare demon at Adamant did that. It made them less so it could grow. I help them heal. They never need to know I was here. You've made me better. You're welcome. It was my pleasure. Remember old Maurice, too proud to forgive, gnarled hands clutching the back of an empty chair? Find another path. Hmm. There was someone, before. He was my friend, but he didn't know what I was. When he found out, he changed. I lost him. You found out, but you didn't change. Didn't make me change. You let me be this, be more. Thank you for helping me find this again. For believing in me. You don't know what it means. I have, I have an inkling. And you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to. It used to help, but it doesn't anymore. Let it go. You were scared. Trying to show them you were strong. Find him. Tell him you're sorry. The woman in the red dress thinks you would look good naked. She wants someone to compliment her hat. They will never know, but I know, thanks to you. I'm sorry if I'm coming off as a bit non-talking much. As before, but you know, Christmas is over, New Year's is upon us. Got a lot of feelings, and I got a lot of thoughts in my head. Maybe none at all. 
I don't know. One for the Empress. For Gaspar. Brianna. The Duchess. And Carissifus. <laughs> right in the dangle bag. <laughs> well, remind me to stay on your good side. Don't worry. You're sparkling compared to that lot. A cook here, a footman there. What's it matter, right, so long as there's a book for the throne? A pretty one, sure. But how many lives are worth one empress's arse? Ugh, that place. Should have just thrown in some bees and slammed the doors. Hmm, how about this? I don't know. You want to stop a party, I think you go earwigs. <laughs> I hate those things, with their little pinchy butts. Josephine should add that to her paper threats. <laughs> you know the real lesson from all this? Never sleep with an empress. We patched their spat, Briala and the Selene, but without their breakup, none of it would have happened like that. Yeah, it did make things more complicated. That was a mistake on their part. It made everything worse. Wrong way around, Inquisitor. It started worse. Lots of people died before there was a hole in the sky. That's who you're saving. If you get a chance, maybe remind them not to be idiots. Hmm. Can't deny that. <sighs> well, that actually might be where we're going to have to wrap up this video. But don't worry, a part two is going to be coming out soon. And we'll be continuing to talk to companions, and maybe we'll be getting into what I plan to do next, afterwards. Until then, this is Hiccup of the Brothers on Consoles.